Uh, the smartphone brings a very big revolutionary for the photography field. And then uh, there have a statistic that every two minutes we take the photos as many as the people in the, of the whole community in the 19th centuries. And uh, lots of people use photo to take selfies and take pictures and take videos. And it is necessary to learn some uh, poetry photo skills. And I'm the person who is who is in, who was in the photography class in the high school, and uh, I'm the member of the film uh, filming club nowadays. And it is have a very uh, strong request for the shoot. And nowadays, I want to talk about three skills that can help you to the portrait photos. The uh, the rule of third, good lightning, and the creative angles. Well, what is the rule of third? So, uh, there have, uh, according to an article published in the Digital uh, Photography School, the basic principle is to, uh, of the rule of third is to breaking down the image, uh, image into nine, into nine, uh, into nine parts, and uh, both uh, three in both horizontally and uh, vertically. The theory of this rule is that if you uh, place uh, points of the interest in the intersections or along the lines, that your photo become more balanced and makes the uh, viewer image the photo more naturally. Well, so when you take a portrait photo, ask yourself two questions. What are the points of the, the interest in this route and where am I intentionally placing them? And the rule of the third would be very helpful to deliver the message because it could be a very strong tool. And the second is the good lightning. The my light is uh, the strongest lines because it's uh, doing most of the work to light your subject. This light will look very uh, harsh and pretty on your um, subjects, but it is the basic lines to combine with others. Well, the fill lights is actually fill lights is actually very simple setup because all you need is a, a big piece of white form core and uh, that you can use to reflect the lights. Fill lights can both balance and unbalance the subject to cause the color balance or difference. Well, the bike lights need to be weaker among all the lights because the only way to use the backlight is to separate the, the subject from the background. Well, by combining these three basic lights, you can create a perfect shadow on subjects and deliver your message strongly. And then let's move to the last one, is the uh, creative angles. Well, you do not have to put your cameras in front of the subject or take the photos at eye level subjects every time. Sometimes you can be more creative According to an article uh, named The Camera Angles, the Art of the uh, mani Manipulation, there are following different angles. The high an angles, like this, in the high angles, the camera is above the subject and shoots like looking down. This position makes character look very uh, frightened. Well, the low angles are captured from a camera placed below the actor's eyes. Looking at low angles makes the character looking dominating and aggressive. The point of the view uh, shows are angles with the cameras incorporated a, a character's eyes, and it is sometimes intense and very easily to attract uh, attention immediately. Well, in conclusion, it is necessary to have the good skills in taking camera uh, to taking photos, and I demonstrate three very uh, useful skills: the good lightning rule of third and the creative angles. Well, I hope all of you can learn through my presentations and take a better photos next time with your friend and your family. Thank you very much.